Welcome, Aries, to Expression Personnel Tarot. My name is Jessica. I am guided to do your reading. see what is for Aries. What message the spirit want the collective to know? A R I E S A R I E S R I -E -S. Be sure to subscribe to my channel while we pick your cards, Aries. What is going on for the month of August 2022? We were coming from a place of stagnation in the past and it felt like you didn't have this emotional support around you at all, left you in, a lot of you in poverty. The page of cups here, you had a very hard childhood as well. There were things that you just couldn't move on from, but you had to do it alone. You might have felt like you didn't amount to anything at all. You really judged yourself. And it really made you feel like you didn't belong to anyone. Maybe you felt like you didn't understand the universe and you were just scared of like everything. So you really just put in your mind that the world is a really bad place. And... You were able to balance out life and really take charge throughout your life. No, I do not see a full on full fledged support system at all, but there could have been a partnership that was really close to you growing up. Like your friends were everything for you. Possibly a childhood friend is what helped you through your youth make your first little bit of money. Even though it wasn't enough to like take charge. And manifest the life that you wanted out of what was given to you but your foundation was built here. This Six of Cups energy definitely tells me that there was someone that you, from your past, that you thought about quite a lot. This could be a family member. This could be... I'm going to tell you, it was, it was someone that brought you a lot of uh, security. It's like where you come from, like but over the years you grew apart. I see possibly that you left this person from your past that you grew up with.
you know and you knew that it was time to quit dwelling on the situation and you really stayed stuck the more you have thought about this partnership from your past. This was someone very close to you. With the Six of Cups here, I'm going to tell you this was a twin flame. They could have Virgo in their chart as well. See, a lot of you, to overcome the situation, you had different morals. Um, with the High Priestess here, it's telling me that the... The inner you This person would do anything for you and you would do anything for this person. But with the two of pentacles here in reverse, it, it, there was no stability. There was no stability. And you, you waited for a very long time here with the six of wands also in reverse. Six of swords, you just, it's time to move on. The ten of cups weren't happy. The four of wands, this could be, you know... Um, a lot of strong opinions, a lot of crazy arguments, a lot of things that hurt, repetitive cycles over and over again. Really nasty with the Knight of Swords in reverse. And the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Ten of Wands, the Two of Swords in reverse, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Someone from your past feels like you have done them an injustice by not waiting around. But you were tired of feeling like a burden, so you had to move on. As much as you did not want to move on, just time... When you moved on here with the Six of Swords, the Six of Wands in reverse, the Six of Swords, and the Ten of Cups in reverse, This person still dreams of you today. You could have been married to a childhood friend. <clears throat> the 
there's someone who just straight up up and left you, ghosted you. Aries, I don't see that you overcame anything very easily. Coming from a childhood where some of you had a lot of poverty and then giving life another shot. A lot of you thought this relationship, this friendship would like stand the test of time here. Hmm. In the present moment, we have the world, okay? A lot of cycles have been closed out with the strength card here. In our last reading, the strength card uh, definitely came out in the emperor. So, but a lot of things have just come full circle, a lot of... Uh, Good fortunes, good energy has now started coming in. You might have had to been a mediator and had to have a lot of strength and patience and determination during the time of a lot of confusion here with the Seven of Cups in reverse. And you really had to know your self-worth with the Page of Swords. Aries, we do have the emperor in reverse. So some of you did not set boundaries. You're really argumentative. You kept giving into the arguments. And what happened is, is with the seven of wands, it just created that many more overwhelming situations, that many more overwhelming thoughts. The tower in reverse, things got really uncomfortable for you. And I'm pretty sure you're like, please God help fix the situation that I created because Sometimes it's important that you look within and you do admit what, what internally is going on. You have to be able to do the shadow work with the hermit here. It is definitely important to be able to, to look within to find that kind of like roadmap to where you are going. To maybe ask your spirit guides, you know, things aren't working out. I'm not happy why is that? Is it necessarily because of someone else or is it because I'm not happy and maybe you weren't good in a relationship considering here in the past Aries, it look it looks like not the best stability from already from childhood. So bringing this into a relationship and not being able to discuss or talk about it, about what make it, what, what internalizes, what fears that you internalize here? Because a lot of a lot of you Aries might be just overwhelmed with so many opinions and people just trying to break you down and trying to find out who you are that it's really disturbing you. And I think that's where that three of swords comes from. Some of you could be dealing with the Virgo as well. Um, with the Three of Swords, there has been a lot of heartbreak. There's something here about integrity, integrity, and uh, looking within. <clears throat> we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. I'm going to tell you, I, I'm pretty sure someone ghosted you for a third party kind of situation. Uh, a wish fulfillment, someone from their past, possibly. They gave it a shot. With the Seven of Swords, They. this was some trickery that happened to you, Aries. With the Queen of Swords in reverse, we're definitely dealing with a Libra or an Aquarius. But with that Queen of Swords that's also in reverse, we have the Ace of Cups. The Three of Cups and Death. So... There is a lot of change that has taken place to be able to love yourself, to be able to realize that that some people that bring in third party situations into your life kind of reject you. That is protection, right? Rejection is protection. 
here with the death card in the in the present moment this is scorpio energy but this is also a great time for you to realize that things were about transformation changing a lot of a lot of phoenix energy came into the picture for you and so many people see how resurrected that you are because a lot of people when you were growing up or you know today even today necessarily do not want to see you every single day <laughs> and uh they don't mind watching you fall not everybody is uh serves god you know they don't have your best intentions at heart so with you on the scene it might really shake things up but you know what that's their own insecurity and our future leading up into our future position here with the the four of cups in reverse i feel like that you are really just like done and bored and not going to give in to give in to any more boredom the eight of cups in reverse you know somebody's really just really needs to free like free your mind and the rest will follow <laughs> the five of pentacles there is a relationship that has come to an end and it has left you with so much anxiety so so many nightmares so many uh bad thoughts and uh your brain just overly uh falling into that black hole of non-stop thoughts and that just brings about so many more worries and spirit has offered you that with the with the nine of swords a way out like using that nine of swords as a ladder to realize that you cannot stay in this situation for too long it, it's time to really just be done with the situation yeah it's going to hurt it's going to hurt okay with the two of wands in reverse you know right now is it's a time for preparation and and planning but you can't if you have a whole lot of thing like everything on your mind you know um with the queen of cups right now it is saying you know yeah you can take those emotions right now you can turn around and you can help someone else with the eight of swords and the 10 of pentacles here it's really about freeing yourself and realizing what is in the here and now i'm really feeling that there is someone around you maybe an elder uh they're tired of seeing you in the same unhappy depression you could be dealing with a leo here as well the knight of pentacles you've got to free yourself from the situation you're going to have to be strong you're going to have to really look in within yourself and sometimes have a little fun let loose with someone else not necessarily the person you desire to hang out with because for whatever reason or another the foundation has now crumbled it's it's over with the knight of cups here there's someone here right now the knight of pentacles the knight of cups and someone there is a king of wands in reverse in the present moment So we have the Knight of Cups and the King of Wands. So someone is really just wanting to have a good time with you, not necessarily like I There's an offering or some kind of decision you 
before the next full moon. They're going to want to date you, tell you everything you want to hear. Possibly cut you off, cut you right back down to size, ghost you. Tell you that they don't want to be with you no more. Some of you might be asked to go out on a date and you necessarily don't even make it to the date. Y'all actually stay in the bedroom. You stay home or you go get something to eat and you stay home. It's the little black dress song. I should have stayed in the room. Okay. We have in our future position with the seven of pentacles here and the ace of pentacles. So while we're going through a hard time here, the ace of pentacles is here. This is a brand new opportunity. Here with the empress, the magician. Okay, Aries. To the Aries that is just really pushing through all this energy, no matter if their partners are cheating on them, no matter what is going on and you're not focused on that and you are business driven and you are driven to basically do what is best and you've been helping people and you've healed and you've transformed and like you've been putting in a lot of work, a whole lot of work all by yourself here with the seven of pentacles. There is this opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles. And it's going to look real, real good with the Empress. The Magician. And the Eight of Wands. It is here. It is just taking a really slow time. With the Hanged Man. There's some kind of sacrifice here that you had to make that led to your happiness, that leads to your happiness, but the three of pentacles in reverse. I'm, I'm seeing where you feel like that you could do more for those that are around you, but I'm seeing that there's people from your past that just might reach out and ask for help. Aries, that queen of wands, we got the wheel of fortune here. Double confirmation and the king of pentacles. Aries, some of you could have Capricorn heavy in your chart. We have the Ace of Wands. Some of you, I see you turning an opportunity down. You're just not in the right frame of mind. I don't see it's a time for you to necessarily push forward. You feel very grateful, but you, you just, you don't know. And maybe that's how you're supposed to play it. I don't know. But we also have the artist here and it is actually in reverse. This is a vessel for creation right here. This is a, if you, 
if you stop and set aside the human distractions, you're able to focus a little bit better on what spirit's trying to tell you. So with the artist here in reverse, and if you look, he has a little uh, pen and paper and, and with it in this direction right here, I see a lot of you just like, feeling kind of nostalgic and dreamy and just judgmental, a little unstable. We have the well here. Destructions, endings, cold and stagnant. Okay, if you don't do what is in your heart to do it and someone else does it, it is going to hurt real bad. Really, really bad. Some of you are artists, some of you are really amazing. The Wheel of Fortune has come into your life because there's something that you have done and Spirit wants you to basically put it out there because this is your life this is your life path. This is your purpose. You know, this is what you are supposed to be doing in life. So if you're, if you're not doing it here with the well card and reverse, I'm going to tell you that birthplace of ideas, that inspiration and everything that was supposed to drive you to where you're supposed to be in life. That's where you're going to get that, uh, that artist in reverse, you, you are not going to be able to hear, you're not going to be able to, some of you are just not listening to spirit. Maybe some of you are just smoking too much weed or something for those, because I'm seeing a lot of like, like I'm not playing. You don't really have to even be a fortune reader to actually see the smoke. And, and this could be a long line of, you know, uh, Pisces as well. I'm, I'm, what I'm feeling here is a lot of nostalgia. I'm feeling a lot of stagnation. I'm feeling a lot of you're very bright, very smart, very talented, but you just don't feel like you are good enough. Well, if it works, if it works for me, it works for you. If it's good, good enough for you, it's good enough for me. And if it's been done before and you're like, well, it's been done already. You might be able to do that, but do it differently, you know? Do what you love. Do what you love. Put it out there. Spears saying, right now, I'm giving you this opportunity. I'm giving you the creativity. I've given you the creativity. I've given you these opportunities. Now, don't you want to be that visionary entrepreneur? You're very passionate. So let's create. With the star card here, and the, and the very last thing Spirit says right here with the star is it is time to have faith, a time of hope. Not worrying if somebody's cheating on you all the time. If they are, you know, why am I getting this? I get that song. I try to say goodbye and I choke. Try to walk away and I stumble, though I try to hide it, it's clear. My world crumbles when you are not near. I get it. I, I, I know what it's like to, to be, fall in love, not be in love, to fall in love. I'd rather be in love any day. But I'm going to tell you something about love. It's better to have love and loss than to never have loved at all. Only a very few of us pay attention to what spirit is trying to tell us. And we are able to transform almost like a, a cicada, like a, a, a bug, like a, a moth or a butterfly where you go from a pup, a alien state metamorphosis. You, you are able to transit become who you are 
in the present moment with our death card here. This, this is time of transformation. The three of wands in our past, this was a time to maybe take a step back and see what we're planning, what doesn't work for us anymore. With the Knight of Wands, you do have what it takes. You do have the opportunity around you, okay? You do have the passion, the creativity, the drive. The star here, all right? A lot of faith, a lot of healing. And then, of course, we have the well, all right? This is a lot of nurturing opportunity, creativity. And again, it's... It is the card of the, the creatrix. It is the card of transformation. It is the card of, so not only do we have the death card, the star card, and then of course that rendezvous, uh, the well with death, the star and the well here the Knight of Wands, the Three of Wands, there definitely is a wonderful time for romance. Tell you that much. So if you are single here with the Star card, what I'm seeing is a lot of technology-driven energy and the well. I, I'm in death here, the Three of Wands, the Knight of Wands. It might be a great time if you are uh, on Tinder or just be very, very careful. But, you know, get on your your dating platform and see who you are compatible with or whatever it might be a great time to use technology to your advantage um be the visionary that you are but with the three of wands in reverse you know there's there is something that is saying kind of like take a step back before you charge forward with anything i would just give it until say like the 22nd through the 28th at least um, to, to recharge your batteries more or less. Cause I feel a lot of you are, your energy right now, you're just really exhausted. So, um, yes. And with the death card, I'm gonna tell you to be drinking a lot of water, a lot of water with the star card as well. Drink a lot of water. You might feel like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders, just be very mindful of your health. Make sure you're going to doctor's appointments. You're keeping up with everything, keeping up with the keeping up, um, finishing old plans. And be sure just to not just nurture your insides with water. Get outside and enjoy nature because it's very healing too. And just overall cleaning the clutter out of the house here with the death card, the star card, um, the three of wands, the well, you know, you could also draw like your dream room. And there's even apps that you can do that and draw your dream room, dream closet, and then actually do it, do it, record it too. All right. <laughs> I would love to see it. I would love to see you take my advice, but you know, I went and bought this thing so I could pay more attention to the time that I spend for each one of you, uh, for each sign. And I was going to stay under 15 minutes, uh, 15 minute readings, but I just can't, just can't, it's hard. But anyway, um, thank you for joining me, Aries. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, I tried something a little bit new today and I really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it too. Thank you so much. All right, till next time.